Do you want to disable automatic updates on your Windows 10 machine? I'm Mike Roderick, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Now, there's a couple of ways you can go about blocking automatic updates on Windows 10. First of all, understand that we want those updates. They do keep us safe. They make sure that we have the latest patches against all those different vulnerabilities and keep the bad guys out of our system. But there are going to be times when I might want to prevent that uh, for one reason or the other. I do it many times when I'm doing shows because I don't want the state of my machine changing over the course of a week. So maybe I want to disable them temporarily or just have a little more control over that update process. So when we talk about blocking automatic updates, there's really two methods we can use. I can use my settings through my Windows GUI, uh, or I can use a local group policy. Every Windows 10 machine has, or Windows 10 Pro machine has a local group policy. We can also use that method. This first method I'm going to show you will work on Windows 10 Pro as well as Windows 10 Home. So if you're running the Home Edition, this is going to be the method you want to use. If you're running Pro, you can use this method or the one I'm going to show you in a minute. So let's start by going to our Start menu. And I'm going to navigate into Settings. That's that little gear icon right there above that Power option. All right. So we'll go into Settings. And in Settings, I'm going to click on Update and Security. So you might have to scroll down depending on how big your window is here. And you'll see that Update and Security section there. So I'm going to click on that. All right, once we get into our Windows Update screen, uh, you can see a couple of things, like I've recently checked for updates, I'm good to go, got that green check mark, I've got the button that says check for updates. Right below that, you're going to see the option to pause updates for seven days. So this might be a valid option for you. If you're just looking to temporarily disable those automatic updates, you can simply click pause updates for seven days. And you'll see up top, it notifies me. It lets me know that I'm not going to check for updates until, in my case, July 22nd of 2020. And I've got the little pause icon over there. So now I don't have to worry about it putting an update in the middle of maybe I'm doing some project and I don't need the state of my machine uh, to change or I don't want any automatic reboots occurring. So I've paused updates uh, and I, I don't have to worry about it. Now, once I'm ready for updates to resume, I can either wait until the seven days expires, in which case it'll automatically check for updates. As soon as that seven days is up, it's going to say, fine, I did the pause you asked me for, and it's going to go check for updates. All right? Or you can click resume updates. Maybe it's only been three days, but I'm done with whatever it was that was preventing me from doing updates. I can simply click resume. And notice it immediately goes out and check. That's one of the things you got to remember with pausing updates is once you pause them, it's fine. It will pause. But as soon as the pause is over, it will go check. Microsoft wants to make sure your system is kept up to date because that's what keeps us safe. That's how they get those important security updates out to my system. So maybe that option is good for you. Again, if you're running uh, Windows 10 Home, um, this is going to be the option for you. Uh, I'll show you another method in a little bit for Windows 10 Pro. Now, maybe seven days doesn't work for you, right? Uh, you can't change that here. It just says pause for seven days. If that's good, fine. If that's not, down below here, there are advanced options that you can select. So let's go ahead and click on the advanced options. And on advanced options, down at the bottom, I'm going to see another pause updates option, right? But this one doesn't say seven days. It says pause until, and then I have this little drop down list here. And what you'll notice is I can pause for up to 35 days. So now I'm not stuck with just seven. I can do two days, I can do 10 days, all the way up to 35 days. So if I hit this drop down list, you'll see I get all of the dates and I can simply select whichever one I want, right, in that list. And now it's gonna not update until in my case, August 17th, 2020. If I go back out to my settings, we'll see that same information reflected up here. It's not going to resume updates until uh, August 17th of 2020. Same as with the seven day pause, all right? Um, I can click that resume updates, which will turn off the pause and it will immediately check. So now you can pause it for seven days with a simple one click, or you can pause for up to 35 days using that drop down list, all right? So that's one method for blocking updates. Notice none of that was permanent though. At some point you will get updates at the end of the seven days or the end of the custom date that you've selected, you will get updates. On Windows 10 Home, there's no way to really disable updates completely. You can simply pause them until it's convenient for you. All right. Now, 
with Windows 10 Pro. If you're running a Pro version, you can disable automatic updates permanently, or they will never try to do automatic updates. For that, you're going to need to modify your local group policy. To do that, you're going to go to your Start menu, and you can type in Group Policy. If I could spell, it would help. And you'll see that I get the option to edit my group policy. Now, when I zoom out, I'm going to have to type that in again. So I'm going to go back down there and type in group policy. And I'm going to select edit group policy. This opens up my local group policy editor. And this policy, are, these are settings that apply to your system. Every Windows 10 Pro machine has one of these policies. It's something we use in the IT uh, industry to apply settings across multiple systems at the same time. We have what they call domain-based policies. And if you are in IT and you're looking to do this to multiple systems in your enterprise, uh, you can find the same setting in domain-based GPOs as well. I just happen to be using the local GPO on this Windows 10 machine. All right, so what you're going to do is it's divided up into two sections. The top section is my computer computer configuration, and I'm going to expand out this administrative templates node. All right, so let me expand that out, and then I'm going to expand out Windows components. You'll see that right down here. All right, and then underneath Windows components, you're going to need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's a lot of Windows components. All right, and there's going to be one called Windows Update right down there. That's the one we're looking for. So I'm simply going to select Windows Update. Now you'll see a lot of settings appear out here in this what we call the details pane of this middle area. Many of them are good settings, but for what we're doing, there's really one setting I'm looking for. I'm going to find a setting called Configure Automatic Updates. That's the one I'm looking for right there. To configure automatic updates, we're going to double click on that. That's going to open up this configure automatic updates policy. This is how I can control the behavior of Windows automatic updates on these Windows 10 Pro systems. On the top left hand corner, what you'll see is there's three options. The default is not configured, meaning I haven't told the system what to do. We use our settings panel that we used on the home system, and we can pause them, and we're not really using policy. That's the default. Below that, you'll see enabled and then disabled. If I choose enabled, I'm going to turn this policy on. Once I turn the policy on, then I can control the settings that this policy allows me to control. If I choose disabled, I can disable automatic updates altogether. No pause. No, I'm going to pick back up in seven days. I mean turn off automatic updates which is what we're trying to do, right? So let me zoom out and choose that to disabled. Now, if you forget what I've been telling you here, the explanation over here on the side will explain all of that as well, all right? Um, so you can go through here and read all about what's gonna happen if you choose the different options, all right? I'm gonna zoom out, but we're gonna leave this on disabled, and then we're gonna click OK. And that's it. You'll notice that this screen now says disabled instead of not configured. Now Windows will no longer attempt to do automatic updates. You've turned it off completely, right? It's not going to resume after seven days or after 35 days. You can still check manually, right? And that's good to do. We do want to get our updates. We know they're important. We know that they keep our system safe. But now it's on my schedule, right? It's when I choose to do so. Be careful with this. I have done it myself, so I, I speak from experience. I'll come in here and I'll turn off Windows Automatic Updates thinking, I want to control when it goes out and does its updates. I don't want to pause it. I want to tell you when to go. And then you know what happens? Two months later, I realize, when is the last time I actually checked for updates? So keep that in mind, right? Once, and you can close these windows. You don't have to save anything. Everything you do inside that local policy is saved automatically. So as soon as you disable it, you can close all your windows, you're good to go. Keep in mind, however, at this point, my system will no longer reach out to Microsoft and try to do any automatic updates. I'm gonna to have to go into Update and Security, and I'm going to have to click Check for Updates, all right? So disabling automatic updates doesn't prevent you from ever checking, it just means I'm not gonna do it automatically. You're gonna to have to remember to do it manually. So there you go, that is how you can disable Windows automatic updates in both Windows 10 Pro as well as Windows 10 Home. 
hey, make sure you check out the playlist for more Windows 10 how-tos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.